Hey everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to convert your Figma design into Android Studio step by step. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know how to quickly take your favorite Figma components and get them into Android Studio, so you can bring your designs to life as real functional app layouts. Whether you're a designer hoping to streamline your workflow or a developer eager to speed things up, this guide is for you. Let's dive right in. First off, let's jump into Figma. If you've never used Figma before, it's a super powerful tool for UI and UX design, and a lot of designers prefer it for how easy it is to iterate and collaborate on creative ideas. So make sure you've got your Figma design open in your browser or app and ready to go find the project or the screen you want to work with. Next, you're going to want to select Actions within Figma. This is typically found as part of the menu, or you can usually hit the quick action bar with a shortcut like the forward slash key slash, depending on your setup. Actions in Figma are kind of like shortcuts. They let you access powerful plugins and features without having to hunt through menus. Think of it like a toolbox you can access on the fly. Now in the action search bar, start typing Figma to code. What you're doing here is looking for a plugin or feature that lets you convert your design elements into actual code, which is super useful for bridging that classic gap between designers and developers. If you don't see it right away, don't worry. Sometimes you might need to install the Figma to code plugin, just click on it and follow the prompts if that's the case. Once it's installed, you can access it directly from this actions menu anytime you need it. Once Figma to code is running, select the specific component or frame in your Figma file that you want to export to Android Studio. It's best to be strategic about what you select, maybe it's a button, a card design, or an entire screen layout. Just make sure you've selected only what you really need so you don't get overwhelmed with unnecessary code later on. Selection is key here, it's a bit like choosing which ingredient to use in a recipe. The result depends a lot on what you pick at this stage. Now within the Figma to Code plugin, select the HTML export option. You might be thinking, wait, why HTML if I'm working with Android Studio? Great question. The reason is by exporting your design as HTML, you get super readable markup and inline styles you can quickly adapt for Android views or even convert into XML as needed. Plus, it gives you a great starting point, especially if you're visually translating layouts. Go ahead and copy the generated HTML code. Make sure you're copying all of it so you don't miss out on any styling details. This part might take a few moments if you're working with a complex component, but don't rush, double check that you've grabbed everything. Then head over to Android Studio. Open the layout or file where you want the design to appear. You can paste the HTML code as a comment for reference, or start translating it line by line into Android XML layouts or Jetpack Compose. Think of this as a translator, Using the code as a guide, you'll create an equivalent interface in Android Studio that perfectly matches your Figma design. And that's it, with just a few simple steps, you're able to take designs from Figma and bring them right into Android Studio ready for action. If this tutorial helped you, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more how-tos just like this. And if you have any questions, maybe you're facing a tricky situation or just want to know more about Figma plugins, drop a comment below and I'll be sure to help out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.